next test is called the pivot shift test. Pivot shift test is an excellent test to check for ACL laxity. Specifically, it's best for a grade 3 or a total tear of the ACL. With a grade 1 or grade 2 tear, it's a little tougher to test, but with a grade 3 tear, it should be noted. As long as the patient's not guarding and the knee's not swollen, it's a very effective and sensitive test. Start with the patient's hip flexed to approximately 20 to 30 degrees, the knee's fully extended. With this test, you'll have internal rotation of the tibia. In some cases, people apply a valgus force, and in some cases, push an anterior force on the lateral posterior aspect of the fibula and the tibia. With the test, maintaining internal rotation will flex the knee, and with the positive test, the tibia will sublux posterior. Instead of a smooth transition, approximately 10 to 20 degrees, you'll see a posterior subluxation of the tibia, a step off or a jump off, and it'll clunk. The patient will notice it. They'll even tell you that's the sensation they have when they pivot, when they turn, uh, with some different actions, especially with sports. If they cut and the leg buckles, typically that's a total ACL tear, and they'll have a positive pivot shift. So start full extension, internal rotation, flex the knee, and it'll sublux posterior. She obviously does not have a positive test. Another